Well, a pair of teams capable of scoring a lot of points meet tonight in the D3 Elida District semifinal. Top seeded Liberty Benton facing LCC. Undefeated Eagles averaging over 62 points a game while the T-Birds check in with 56 points a contest. But neither team would come close to reaching those two totals tonight as we head out to Elida. T-Birds wanted to slow things down, so it's only 22-20 Eagles in front in the third quarter. Katie Simon, ball at the top of the key, squares up and hits the 17-footer. LB leads by four. Next time down the floor, Simon on the wing. Look at that. The ball gets stuck between the backboard and the rim. She's fouled on the play. She would hit all three free throws. So Eagles by seven. Madison Stolle answers two of her 16. Five-point game again. Start of the fourth, LCC continues with its game plan. Held the ball for the first four minutes. Now we're back into action, a minute 30 left. Three is off the mark, Sydney Santa Guida the put back, 27-24 LB. After some free throws, Natalie Snyder hits the three, 31-27, 15 seconds to go, but LB caps off the game with the Gabby Lyon lay in and that seals the deal. Liberty Benton wins 33-30. Eagles weren't expecting this slow paced affair, but they were still able to pull out the victory. We were not expecting that. We expected them to play a very fast paced game and they wanted to hold it for two minutes at a time and I guess we stayed in our zone and stayed in our man. They executed very well, but I think that we're a great enough team that we can find an open shot. You know, this time of year, you, you've got to expect anything. We've had a couple teams do that throughout the year, and you know, Coach Cree had a, had a good game plan in it. You know, kept the game close, kept them right in the game, uh, and then once in the fourth quarter, once we got about a five-point lead, we were okay with them holding it. And we survived and we advanced, and that's, that's the bottom line. You know, you win by one or win by 21, it doesn't matter. You're playing the next day, and so we're happy to get another chance to play on Saturday.